Linda Douglas is the communications director of the White House Office of Health Care Reform. She joins us now from the White House with the latest. Ms. Douglas, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Ma'am, one of the things that a lot of people express concerns about, that for all the good intentions, that this just might end up looking like political theater. How can the White House and those parties involved convince Americans that today's session is, is intended to do just what it's supposed to do, which is to have an honest discussion of health care reform? Well, you know, first of all, they really have had a very interesting, thorough, and uh, and frank discussion uh, about health care reform, that is, health insurance reform that will lower costs and help Americans uh, have more power against insurance companies. But what you really heard was that there are, in fact, a lot of, care of areas of common ground. Uh, you know, they agreed that there's got to be a bigger crackdown on waste and fraud and abuse with American taxpayer dollars on health care. They agreed that, uh, that, that there have got to be more uh, incentives to, for prevention and wellness, strong prevention and wellness provisions in right. uh, any legislation that would pass. They right. certainly agreed that small businesses have got to be able to pool their resources. Where they didn't agree was uh, the president was saying, uh, you know, that there needs to be some kind of minimum level of benefits where insurance uh, companies uh, can be told by the consumer, look, I'm the consumer, I have the power. Right. Consumers can count on a minimum level of benefits. There was not agreement on that. The Republicans didn't seem to but accept Ms. that Ms. idea, but Ms. there was a lot of common ground. Ms. Douglas, if I might, though, Lamar Alexander, he spoke first for the Republicans, and he said, if we can do that, start over, we can have a health care bill. Some of the Republicans are insisting that this bill, in its present form, should be ripped up, and you should start from scratch again in more of a bipartisan effort. Is that something that's going to happen, or is the White House just going to say, well, you know what, as, as some had suggested, maybe through reconciliation, just jam this through? Well, first of all, I want to just argue a little bit with the word jam. I mean, the, the process those, those that you're were talking Senator about Alexander's the words, ma'am. I, I yeah, should point the, the that simple, out. the simple up or down majority vote uh, process. But you know, this isn't a day for really talking about the legislative process. The, look, both houses of Congress have passed legislation after a year of work. The Senate passed a bill. The House passed a bill. Both of them, you know, put ha uh, the power back into the hands of consumers and businesses so they can have control over their health care. Both of them have uh, the biggest middle class tax cut for health care in history. Both of them make sure that people can from now on know that they can find affordable health insurance, health insurance regardless of what their health status is, so there's stability and security. And, there, and also health insurance reform that brings down the deficit. That is in both of these pieces of legislation, which have passed both houses, the president now is looking for a way uh, to complete the final steps to bring okay. this relief to the American people. And Ms. Douglas, Lori Rothman here. John McCain, senator from Arizona, just took part in a heated exchange with the president where he is calling for the removal of special deals. Is that a legitimate request? Well, you know, unfortunately, I was uh, out here talking to you folks, so I was not able to hear that exchange. But there were certainly uh, some of the uh, uh, particular individual arrangements that were removed uh, from the legislation in the new proposal that the president put out. For example, there was uh, an arrangement for Nebraska where uh, the uh, cost of Medicaid that is expanding the coverage for uh, middle class families was going to be covered by the federal government. But what, uh, what uh, has been decided instead, and this is actually what the Nebraska the senator wanted in the first place was there will be tremendous relief for every state that that will expand coverage of Medicaid for middle class families. Right. That change was made to the legislation. So then what realistically, Ms. Douglas, do you hope gets accomplished today? Well, you know, certainly the president uh, continues to want to find common ground, common areas of agreement with the Republicans. Uh, he wants uh, all of the parties to come together and move forward to complete the work that we have already done all year long and to finally stop insurance companies from raising rates uh, up to 40 percent, as you saw in California, uh, and start putting power, as I mentioned to you before, uh, back into the hands of consumers and businesses. Linda Douglas of the Office of White House uh, Health Reform joining us today. Ms. Douglas, thank you so much.